So I, I go into that to because I, I was just like moral codes and all that, and then like it's a whole lot of like dry snitching, all type of like snitching going on right now. That's has it been like, all right, you got the gutter type snitching, then you got the YSL Woody, and then the gutter type snitching ain't really snitching. Yeah. It's just they play, and we gonna get into all of that. Let's get into gutter first, then we gonna get into YSL Woody. So, <laughs> got some crazy what's the, 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 how, what is y'all take on gutter? Look, man. Me personally, look, I'm gonna just say this. I don't like speaking on shit that I ain't involved in because it be exactly. shit that don't really be known. Exactly. And it be hitting little shit. So, the best me in our section, we politic our shit seriously, though. Yeah. You feel me? It's a in-house jury trial. Oh, yeah, no, for you sure. For, yeah, sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. No for sure. Blurring lines for sure. and shit like that. If a nigga's now family, we, But we talking about a state that wasn't raised on superstructure. So now take yeah, that out. So you you like, got to take that out. How we program right you know here, you saying? can't you expect know, them to even have that mindset. We're going to take this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? It's a But no I feel like for what yeah. Gunner did, he would have, because I seen niggas do that. You're going to get squabbled down. You damn near get, you know what I mean? You're going to get squabbled yeah. down by the nigga packed with just nigga copping out early yeah, on, yeah, on yeah, the yeah, plate. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah, supposed yeah, to stay definitely. down to the trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's like, what they asked you was like general statements. In our case, if yeah. they asked us if we was from Oak Park or I mean, uh, whatever. If I was from Rolling Sixties or G Parkway, we gonna say yeah. Like well, nigga, if it's a part of our deal, we got the gang allegations, the gang yeah, enhancement yeah, yeah, out yeah, there. See, I, so that's like taking a deal to a gang enhancement case. Like nigga, you aware of the Rolling Sixties and the crimes that they commit and yes, all yes, that see. shit? You get what I'm saying? Like yeah, whatever, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. A nigga would have had uh, my lawyer change up the wording yeah, to that deal. Especially, sure, yeah. you gotta be you sure. Gotta, with, see, you agreeing to and what's being said that you saying yeah. because that's where I was speaking to him about a situation where I had in my case the police create a statement for somebody. And niggas, and you would you would think that that can't happen, but I'm telling no, you, no, you can't. You can't go off a of police statement. And I'm telling you this as a nigga who just did time. For this case, on a level four, the police admitted in a trial that they made a statement for somebody. Yeah. So the game is fucked up. Yeah. They and they signed it? Yeah, they said we didn't have a, a recording there, so we just went off our recollection of what she said. Oh, yeah, you can't go off a police statement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. At all. I'm at all. Any nigga like politic a police yeah, statement, is, they hate you, man, man. Come on, man. They know oh, you can't go off that. Man. That was cold. That was like the coldest shit I had seen. Yeah. I'm like, damn, they just they just said that. Yeah. I'm like, this was just, that was deep. But I, deep. I feel like, you know, I feel, you know, to me, it's like, Whatever you got going on, you have to be accountable for yourself. Yeah. So anything outside yourself, leave it alone. Exactly. I'm only talking about me. So you not any, asking me about you, nobody if else. If you take a deal, anything outside yourself, leave it alone. Now, they grow <laughs> big, but notice this: everybody first rodeo and fight the real case, like you said. Niggas don't know what, what type of shit they gonna do until they fight a case. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? And even that, like, just being too eager to get out. Because I don't even exactly. feel like he meant no harm. I felt like he was gonna say whatever that day to get out. Because if that's the case, he could have took an interrogation and told everything he knew about them niggas. You get what I'm saying? Like, See, I look, I look at it in two ways, right? Because me going to jail at su such a young age... It really didn't hit me like that because I was so young. Yeah. But now picture yourself with millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah. You live a good life. They got all really these got women. In jail. And now you sitting for 24 hours in a cage. You're like, whoa. Nigga, fresh it's out of Maybach. Fresh it's out of Maybach in a mansion, This though. is what we rap about? <laughs> yeah. Nigga ain't even flew with a nigga Man, he don't what? know on a plane Man, in the what? last two years. What? Picture waking up to a boom. <laughs> picture waking up to one of them OG smokers. Nigga with the feet night. crusty. So what? you went from a million dollars to sleep, sleeping with this dude that's farting all night. Hey, you like, like, I got to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here this fast. Crazy. It'd be crazy. It's, we It'd be like that, that though. Niggas scratching his really toes. This, and we the, it's like this interview was important because niggas is the product of the realness. You feel yeah. me? We rap. Y'all gonna hear We coming. You feel me? We got the EP we, coming we, we, out. It's uh, coming. Militant you know, everything coming. We got a... Uh, it's important that niggas see the other side. Yeah, for that, sure. That, that it is a struggle to it. And sometimes you gotta go through the struggle before you shine. 
Yeah, yeah. You feel me? It's in reverse order for some niggas. Yeah, we for sure. Niggas. You feel me? Uh, 100%. For sure. And then especially, you know, when you you certain places and you calling yourself, you know, like an older brother and things of that nature, it's your obligation to show your little brothers the right from wrong. And like I tell people, you know, they may not even be, you may not even think they may be listening, but just planting them seeds, let yeah. them grow. Once they hit that wall and they get to think about everybody that did right by them, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? Once they run into the right shit to where they got time to think and they think about every every piece of advice that was ever issued out to them, because I did it and you yeah. did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know who was there for you, who was saying the right thing, and who was just bullshit. Some of them was ignorant too, so you 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 can't really take it nah, out on them. Nah, like it was nah. blind leading the blind the yeah. whole time. Nah, you nah, get nah. what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, man. Like the older homies wasn't responsible for our downfall because they only teaching us what they know. Yeah, they so how smoking we smoking yeah. running so, in banks and shit. It it's not really a lack of. It's, it it's, it's kind of like a lack, lack of knowledge, but it's really yeah. like you can't call it a lack of knowledge if a person that grew up this way and that's all they know. Yeah. Because if that's all you know, it's not a lack of knowledge because you don't have the knowledge. Yeah. So they only teaching us from that's what they thought was right yeah. and it wasn't right yeah, so yeah. we can't hold them accountable and be mad at them yeah. because they only taught us what they knew but at the same time that we went through these struggles and him doing his 11 years me doing my 17 years and six months and now we have an obligation to be a better big brother and it was a lot more homeowners when this was going on you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ain't none true. of that shit our territory right there. The we just no, littering. You get what I'm saying? No, it was right. a lot of people yeah, and families that owned that no neighborhood more. when they was, that was when, when they started off policing their neighborhoods and keeping everything straight. That's it was a lot of people that owned that me shit. Me and him spoke about that, about the history of gangbanging. Yeah. You got niggas now who gangbang that don't know no history about what they doing. They just doing it because they think it's cool. They want to be a crip because they see a couple rappers that's cool as a crip. Fly they don't even know why niggas start nah, nah, yeah. They don't know why niggas be they don't know the history yeah. behind it. Yeah. All they know is, okay, today this is what I want to do because it look hella cool. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. that lack of knowledge, they that's why I always swag. say that because once you do, a lot of people be thirsty for learning shit that's yeah. different. Exactly. And it's like, we the era that can give game back and you can be successful from the game. Yeah, for sure. Because it's platforms, it's opportunities now. You ain't exactly. got to be a loser. Yeah. You feel me? That's, exactly. a, that's, that's the difference. You ain't exactly. got to be a loser. They going to show you that uh, you could be a fly you you nigga ain't, you that ain't still got his nigga. demeanor and exactly. don't got to be a crash exactly. out. You don't have to. You don't yeah. have to. Exactly. You feel yeah. me? That shit is really the easy way to go. Exactly. The you easiest, go, it's the easiest you way to get up to go. every day and do what you do. And you can, you Everybody you don't got to do worry that. about dropping no kids off at school. You ain't got to worry about making no money. Everybody none of that. Ain't no rent. None of that. And that's you a, that's what that's everybody can't wake up, come, you feel me, and do this every day. And that's Niggas would rather sit at home, for sure. be on the game, for smoke. Sure. Man, what? That's, a, that's a, a story I always tell about the Mexicans. And when you see them out the, at, at, on the sides of the road, and they be selling their corn and stuff, and we used to make fun of them. Yeah, they but now you come back. To, now you come back to respect them because they was running actual businesses. Come on, man. And in the black community, this is what we need to start doing. We need to start te te our, teaching our kids how to run their own businesses, whether it's going back sure. to the to the lemonade well, sales. That's what I'm saying. Like, we doing that again. Like, yeah. Yeah. Start the water boys yeah. up there. Like they yeah. got that. Yeah. We gonna have yeah. the kids out there you know, selling water. We gonna get back to, yeah, they, to building up the community. My nieces and nephews back with the lemonade, and they yeah, in some cool communities to where they get man, like five, come on, ten dollars a cup. Man, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We gotta teach that. If Chick Fil A go yeah, sell you one, this a homemade man, joint on, right man. here. We gotta, we gotta bring that back. Teaching the welfare and that. That's not what we should be teaching. We need to be teaching that. It's 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 facts and it's being real. You feel me? We can't keep. Using crutches, we got to teach each other. All and, the we gotta, and we got to, and we got to keep the dollar in our own community. Exactly. Like me and my boy, exactly. we could have came on here with some Gucci. We could have came on it. here with some Louis Vuitton, but Why? we you support local. We yeah. buying black. We buy, we buying from you know our yeah. home team. Yeah, because you know I'm saying we trying to keep the dollar in our own community. They don't know how important that is, and that's why the the. The problem they was having with the Asians, with the stores and all the black communities, because the money don't go back to the community. No. You taking money from all the locals and going and taking it back to Koreatown or Chinatown, you know, wherever y'all so at. Much because no, 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 because no, we was, how no. we respond to shit. Yeah. We want to rush and do what we see because. Niggas think that shit is what to do. Yeah. yeah. But what it is is. They don't understand that you got to go back to the people. Y'all had the same 24 people. hours also. Like, we wasn't taught to have good credit to get this spot. No, and we were rented out, put some literate. groceries yeah. in there, yeah. and sell liquor and cigarettes to our own people. They taking our bad habits, yeah. capitalizing off of it, and taking the money somewhere else. Yeah. That's what you feel. But at the end of the day, 
why we didn't step up the ones that did have money. Okay, it exactly. was people that couldn't do it, but it ain't a million stories exactly. out here. Why the people that didn't see, have money centralized that? You even, know what I'm saying? Even now, it's a huge problem, right? Because I came home, and you see a lot of these dudes, man, they got all these gold chains, they got all these uh, watches and things like that, but they living in the core. Like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> but now nah, that comes from a lack of uh, uh, financial literacy. So now, you know, I was talking to this young lady the other day. She uh, is very educated in, in, you know, financial literacy. So I was telling her, you know, what we need to do is we need to organize a community event and start teaching the kids and these other people money management. You know what I'm saying? So now we about to start things like that in the community. Money management, teaching the community money uh, money management. Yeah. Things of that nature, things that's really important. Instead of wasting your money on a gold chain, yeah. you could have put that 40, 50,000 into a house. Or them Come 20 on, diamonds. Yeah. Come on now, or buying you a brand new, a buying you a brand new car. You could know. got some land. You could have <laughs> invested in some land. These niggas don't even land. know they got the great labs. You got some quality lab diamonds in your shit. They don't. You not going nowhere to check. <laughs> they on, selling man. you a watch. And who's, they who? selling you a watch for sixty, seventy thousand. Right? 